Good morning. Come on in. Let's have some fun. Let's do three breaths up. Happy Thursday, everyone. And we're going to take your inhale to go up. And an exhale to go down. Oh, so glad to see you. Hello. Oh, I can take this off. And up. Three. And four. Let's just see how our body's doing. Five. Let your hands come down and do a little flexion and extension. And round and lift. And exhale and inhale. And then you're gonna drop a shoulder and look over one way. And this is just a way to wake up your body. You can make it lower if you're feeling like you're warmed up. And right and left. Now roll all the way up and let your heels come in close together. And we're gonna wake up our calves with a lift of your heels a lift, a lift, and up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we got it. Now, we are going to take a little balance here. So this is a degage. Just lift your right leg, and the foot is pointed, but you can flex it as you bring it back down, and it can get higher as you get more warmed up. Their challenge would be to keep your other leg balancing you so this leg doesn't hit the floor. Now we're gonna take it to the other side. Let that foot down, take this other leg up. 10, you can point up and flex down. You can make it a goal to go higher and to keep that foot from touching the floor. And six, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Now across the body. So just a little inner thigh cross. You can make this a challenge to keep the foot. So this looks gonna go across, Miss Cole. Yep, up up. So the challenge would be try not to touch the floor with that foot. And then the other. So this glute's working. Now we go across the body. So it's like you're going, this inner thigh is working, going to the opposite corner of the room. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Now take a wider foot stance and just let your arms sway. Four, three, this is just to release tension, two. And then we're gonna take another balance, which is a circle dynamic balance. So leave your left foot down, lift and spread your toes. Now you can take your right leg up and around. You can point and flex that foot as it goes towards the floor. If this is too much for your arms, although everybody looks good, you can just leave them still like you're holding a, a tree or on your hips. Otherwise, five, this leg's working. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now we are gonna go the other way, go backwards. One, two, same leg, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, eight, nine. Now, before we do the other, just kind of shake it out a little like that. Before we do the other leg, just shake it out. Let me turn my uh, little space meter on. And now I don't need it. Okay, take this leg and go up, out, and around, up, out, and around, up, out, and around, and five, six, 
everybody looks good with their arms, but again, the modification would be to keep the arms like you're hugging a tree or on your pelvis. Now we're gonna take 10 the other way, up. The bigger the circle, the harder it is. So you see I had to touch, that's okay. If you have to touch, just touch, get your balance, and go back, five to circles, long knees, six, but they have a soft marshmallow in them, seven, eight, nine, 10, nice job. Now this is a second position squat. Your heels are gonna be uh, heavy and just do the best you can. If you need to decrease how low you go, then just do that. But if you can go to about 90, do that. Think about knee tracking with the second toe and middle hip. Heels heavy, weight back. The option would be, if your knees just don't like this at all, is to do some calf raises. But generally, you don't want to avoid flexion for your knees. You just want to work on a pain-free range of motion. So three, two. Now hold it here. And if you would like to add on a tiny little controlled balance in a place that's pain-free for you, five, four, still tracking that knee. Inhale, come back up. Nice. Now we're gonna go down to the floor. So take your legs, take the feet on the floor, take a bridge, and your feet are gonna be on the mat. You can take your socks off like me if you need to, and put your feet on the mat and curl up and down. Lift up those hips and lower. Lift up the hips and lower. And lift and lower and lift and lower and exhale. Now notice the glutes are both working, the hamstrings are working. And then you can add on a second set with the option being lift up your heels and only your toes are on the mat and then you lift up and down. You lift up and down. And when you do the heel lift, make sure that your pinky toe only doesn't have the weight. You want each toe head to have equal weight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and stay up, and ten little pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then lower. And for a moment, take happy baby. And this is a great place to also open up a toe or two. So the first big, the big toe can, you can open it away from your other second toe, for example. And we're gonna put the left foot down and put the right ankle on the left thigh and keep your hips level as you go up and down 10 times. There's a little space underneath your neck so that you're not jamming your neck into the floor. Five, four, three, two. Now stay at the top and add a tiny little pulse that's about an inch or two. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower, now put your right foot down and put your left ankle on top, there you go. Lift up and down fully for 10. Go ahead, Michelle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now at the top, there's a little pulse here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower. Now for a moment, hug your legs. You can move your ankles, you can roll them, you can point and flex. We're gonna take an ab crunch, and let me show you modified first, which is right leg out, then left leg out. You hug your shin, and so, Cole, you might like this one with the head down. You're hugging a shin, and then you extend. The option is you come up with your shoulder blades, and then you do that. So your option is down head and ribs are down no matter what, or up shoulder blades. Four, three, two, one. Now rest your head, roll a little bit, rock a little bit. 
leave your left leg down and then lift your right leg up to the sky. I'm going to move over so I don't hit my screen. Now your hands can be beside your pelvis. Your right leg is in the air. You remember how we did these standing? We're going to do lying circles. Keep your shoulders resting on the mat. The modification would be to bend both or one knee so that your ribs are down as your cue. If your ribs are just having trouble staying down, grab a pillow or a blanket and put it underneath your head and your shoulders. Otherwise, take 10 non-clicking circles. So if you have any click, decrease that range of motion. Go the other way for 10. Breathing. Keep the jaw soft. And one way to do that is to separate the lips. Sometimes that helps. Thank you, Catherine, for telling me that one helped you. Two. Now while you're finishing that one, grab that leg behind, probably the hamstring, and just point and flex it. Point and flex. Uh, the leg can be up, Miss Cole, and that'll touch the hamstring more. Five. Now the left hip flexor is also pouring to the floor. All right. Now we're going to put that leg down and extend the other leg up, up, up. Draw circles as big as you can maintain your ribs on the mat. Also notice your shoulders will try to crunch, but you don't want them to. So just scan the shoulders and the neck and the jaw periodically. Breathe in. Let go of tension. After the 10th one that way, go the other way. So if it's hard, you can also modify by bending one or both knees or by making smaller circles. Now when you're done with yours, your hands go behind your leg and you're in a hamstring stretch. You can point and flex that foot and you can roll the circle so my other foot's also going along parasympathetically and that is just fine. Nice. Pull both legs up and just notice now your hands are going to be on the floor. It's a circle one way corkscrew while you keep the legs glued. Go the other way. Now, the modification would be bending the knees slightly. Another modification is keeping the circle little. Uh, another modification, if you're um, feeling like your ribs are popping up, is to put a pillow underneath your head and or shoulders and head. Now, if it's too easy, make it a bigger circle. Some of you might even like to do a hip lift here at 12 o'clock. Four, three, two, one. Now reach your hands between your knees and hold on to your feet or your inner ankles. You're going to look like you're a little butterfly. And again, you can open up a toe or so. Maybe if your pinky toe is tight to your other toes, just press that away or the big toe or just add a little rock as well. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, if you would like a sip, grab it. We're gonna be doing some swan work, which is for the posture. So if you wanna sip, grab it. <coughs> and belly down. Now your belly down postures are going to be uh, first back lifting and then your hands help you. The hands ahead of you and wider than your mat generally is a pretty safe place to start. Find a place you feel like you can hold and we'll go through our cues. Our shoulder blades are down the back, our elbows are pointing down. The modification would be forearms, that's good Karen. Neck is soft. Breathe into the upper back, breathe into the chest. Good job. Inhale. Exhale, lower. We're going to
going to do two more of those. So when you're ready, lift up with your back and then let your hands assist you. Exhale, lower. We're going to do it one more time. You're doing great. Inhale, lift. Add your hands. And exhale, lower. And then add your arms like a pillow underneath your head or your cheek. And you're going to lift up one leg as high as you can, but without disturbing the pelvis. Good. And then the other. You're going to keep doing that. And imagine someone's pulling your leg long out of your pelvis before you lift. Relax your neck. Really lift while the pelvis is stable, meaning the pelvis isn't rocking. Scan your neck and shoulders. They're not helping. And then if you want to add on, hover your face. Take your arms wider than your body and lift your right arm and your left leg. And then your left arm and your right leg. And your right and your left. And your, so this is called a, yep, there you go, that's option. You might lift your face a little higher, Cole, your head, I mean, yeah, just, maybe just see. Yeah, that's your upper back uh, thoracic extension. And fairly chin tuck, Miss Betty, I think. Yeah, all right, all of them can be off. All the arms and legs can be off the floor. And then you keep swimming if you want that option. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Child pose. And I'm gonna offer that you push the toe, you curl the toes under so that you get a foot stretch. And with the change of temperatures, sometimes we change our footwear and the feet need a little extra tension. 10, five, two, and this one is called down dog up dog articulation. So basically you spread your hands out like pieces of pyre between them or biscotti, but I want you to have a modification which would be cat cow. So anytime you need to come back to cat cow, you can. But if you're in a um, down dog, ooh, that feels good. Let's hold there for five. Now, as you're ready, lift your heels, articulate through your lower back, middle back, upper back, and then up dog. Now, tuck your chin, push through your upper back, middle back, lower back, then go down to heels again. Lift up, oh, spinal articulation, inhale. Chest open. Good, tuck the chin, upper back, middle back, lower back, really flowy. It's not just a hinge at the hips. Lower back, middle back, upper back, and tuck. Two more. And tuck, good care. And one more, lift. Inhale, tuck. Awesome, and then lower your shins and have a seat. And just for a moment, take your hands like you're holding hands with yourself and just massage them. Maybe five circles each way. Uh -huh. And then press the palms together and lower them till you have a hand stretch. Five, lift up through your torso, four, three, two, good, inhale, and exhale, one more, pull the hands forward, drop your shoulder blades, five, and then take your other one, you guys were telling me you really like the hand stretches, and look how much they do for us every day, now I just call this Liberace hands, but just kind of like you're playing the piano in an exaggerated sense or drumming your fingers, just spread them out. Terrific. Now we're going to take a Porvo Tanasana, which is reverse plank. 
So if this doesn't serve you, you can do more hand stretches or a bound angle, but the reverse plank is hands behind you, knees long. An option would also be to bend the knees, although that's more stretch on the shoulders. Check your neck, it's gonna stay soft. That's your probably your most important cue. So now your gaze is down probably at your toes to do that cue. Knees soft, eight, good, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Inhale and have a seat, good. And again, you can massage your hands, let them go. And then we're gonna put our forearms behind us. Glide your feet up the mat. Now can you see my elbows are on the floor and I'm not sinking, I'm lifting. All right, so from here, legs out to one corner, bend them in, this is Ken Ken. Legs out to another corner, bend them in. Now there's, uh, keep going, I'm just gonna talk. Make sure there's a pomegranate between your chin and your chest. Your neck is less likely to feel strain here, but you don't wanna, um, you want to still take care with it and you might be looking through the window of your legs so that your neck is in care. All right, take four more. Three, two, and one. Now lie back and just take your legs into your belly and stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna offer that the right leg go up and the left leg hover. Hold that pose. If you would like, you can switch it. Hold that pose for a moment and then switch it. It's like your pair of scissors and then switch it. Now that may be all you wanna do. If you would like, come up and then pull the leg in while your shoulder blades are off the mat. Please choose what's good for your body. Nothing's worth getting in the extreme. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lie on your side and let your arm be your pillow. Take your legs out long. A modification would be you can actually use a pillow here, but lift up both legs. You're gonna feel these waist muscles. Double leg lift on the side. Seven, you got it. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Feel the belly, 14, more than the back, 15, 16. Pull the toes forward if you need help on that cue. Now stay up, let the top leg go up and down while the bottom leg stays off the mat. Now the top, excuse me, the top leg stays still, but the bottom leg goes up and down. Now either roll over, or if you would like to try five banana boats, you can. Please choose what's good for your body. Soften how much the arms are helping. Keep a pomegranate underneath your chin. Do five, we do one more here, and we're gonna end up on the other side. So the lying down double leg lifts are on the other side now. And once you've done 20, take the top leg up and down 10 times. There you go, Cole. Once you've done 10 up and leg of the top leg, let the bottom leg go up and down. Yep. Your hand could be on your abs, between your ribs and your belly to make sure it's working more than your back. Now that's great, you can keep doing that, or you can do five of the banana boats. Slow down how much the arms are helping you so they're not throwing 
you forward, there's a little pause. Awesome. And then when you're ready, have a seat just for a moment. Now, if you want, you can put a pillow underneath your booty or go up and over and then just take side stretch. So I can tell where we did some good stretching yesterday. Does anyone else feel like right now it's not so tight? That's really good. I'm glad we did that. Hips are low or pelvis is on the floor. Inhale, it's like you're going up and then over. And then find a place that feels good. Just hold 10, nine, oh eight, that feels so good. Seven, this is really good for posture. Five, good for increasing or helping breathing capacity. Go up and over. Four, three, two, inhale, and then come on up. Grab a sip. Our next little series um, block is planks. So an option for planks would be hands and knees or on your knees and forearms. So that decreases the length of the lever. But if you would like the full version, your forearms are down and your elbows are roughly underneath your shoulders, toes, toes on the mat. Remember the modification would be to be on your knees and that is just fine. Good. <clears throat> Make sure you get some drink. Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now a side plank. Beautiful. Ten. It looks great. Good. Nine. Eight. Good, Michelle. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Everyone looks good. Three. Two. Side plank. The other one I just need to turn so I can still see you to cue. But go ten. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. And now take a breather. We are going to go back to your front plank and we're going to add on some options. So from the front plank, you'll hinge your hips so that you look like an upside down V, which is also called dolphin. Now this one is a hinge. Hinge from your hips and come to front plank. Now lift your hips, dolphin. Now plank, now dolphin. Now plank, dolphin, plank, dolphin, and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Pelvis down. This is Sphinx. But I'd like to add on, if you want, a hands down uh, cobra or swan. So you can add on. Yep. 10. Elbows point down so the chest is open, neck is soft. Now the elbows are down, curl your toes under, go back into front plank. Now the option here is to push through your toes, go forward, drop back through your heels, push through your toes, drop back through your heels, back and forth. That looks good. It's really important to pull the pubic bone under. Now rest your pelvis and either forearm or hands. We emphasize the extensions because it is uh, so common in our daily activities to be forward. And I think some people just have the idea that you're supposed to get forward and rounded with time, but not us. Inhale. That's how you combat it right here. 
Okay, now go to your forearm plank, curl your toes under. Hold this. If you would like, lift the right toes off and then put them back down. Lift the left toes off and put them back down. Eight more, but please just hold a plank if this is too hard. Five, try to keep the hips in the same place. Four, good. Three, two, one. Now rest your pelvis, only this time we're going to change it. Hands beside your hips, lift up your upper back, lift up your legs. Now just breathe. Breathe, and when you breathe, you go up and down. Yep, everyone looks great. Five. Now, turn it sideways. Let your elbow be down. Take your arm up. Option, open. Exhale, rotate. Exhale, rotate. Open, rotate. Open. Modification would be to get on your knees or to do fewer reps. Really strong bar to arm is pretty important here, really important. Lower your hip, never collapse at the shoulder on the descent and then do the other. Open. Add on a possible rotation. Like it nice take a moment we're gonna mix it up grab a sip if you want we're gonna take a balancing abdominal if you'd like two fingers on the big toes if that is not working for you just hold on to your ankles you could lift up a foot nice screen and then you could lift up a leg oh, I've got a pop free adjustment go out Hold. Maybe go in and out four times. And then hold in the center. And then relax. Great job. Uh, we'll just take a little massage while I tell you what's happening next. The next one is going to be push-ups. You can do them on the wall. You can do them in your hands and knees in an all fours, or you can do them on your hands and knees on the um, flesh of your knees, or you can do them on your toes. Up to 15. Your body alignment is more important than where you do them. I want you to enjoy them. <laughs> so you can do them on the wall. You can do them on the all fours. You can do them on the knees and you bend and you straighten. Good, head pulls back. Two, good. Three, good. Four, good Jeannie. Five, way to switch. Six if you need to. Keep pulling the pubic bone under. Um, Catherine, eight, nine. And lift your belly a little bit cold. And you pull your head back a little bit cold. Yeah. When you're at 15, you can take a child pose and then bend your elbows like you're patting yourself on the back. It's a way to get a tricep stretch or Michelle like you did or join us down here. Perfect. Inhale. <coughs> side plank again. Now this side plank is going to be paint a rainbow. The modification would be stay on your hip and your forearm or your knee and your forearm. You go up and over. Touch maybe. Lower, but don't rest your hip. Two, don't let it touch the floor. If you can, help it. Three, four, good. Five, six, everyone's looking good. Seven, really strong bottom arm. Eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to lower the hip, not by collapsing at the shoulder, but by lowering the hip. 
uh, rainbow painting on the other side. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Grab a sip. We're going to change it up with a little breath stroke, belly down. It's up to you. I try to do about 8 to 12 ounces per the class, but it's uh, something I need reminding on sometimes when I'm exercising, so I just offer it to you. Now, your arms are going to go circle all the way to your pelvis, but if you can, lift up your torso, lift up your torso, but not by the neck, by the upper back. Good, Jean. Good. Good. So your hands are not on the floor. You're doing this with your back muscles, not your hands. All right. Now, you're going to take your hands on your um, head or your cheek on your hands and then Lift up both legs and add a quick flutter kick like you're at the pool swim and laps. 20. Tap your feet together. 20. While the knees are off the mat. Lower the feet and I want to do dynamic swan which is lift your upper back. Let your hands assist and come up. Lower your back and lift your legs. Lift your back and then let your hands assist. Lower your back and let your legs come up. Lift your upper back and let your hands press. Lower. Lift. Lift. Legs. Now hold yourself up. Enjoy. Lower, and then if you would like, I'm gonna offer that your hands interlace at the low back. If that's not for you, do the one we did at the side, hands beside your pelvis. Lift up legs and upper body and however you're doing your hands if that bothers your arms go feel free to put your hands beside you oh not your foot karen just hold on to your own hands yep now go up 10. lower and then if your hands were interlaced do the other position so if your right pinky is on the outside now your left is go up Now that's your backup plan. If you would like, you can do the hands to your ankles or ankle or hands together. Your choice, go up. And relax. And then go up again. and then come up. Child pose, but we're gonna walk our fingertips over to a side. So walk, walk, walk until you feel that rib cage expand. Breathe into it. Open up your armpit. Oh, feels good, low back. Oh, serratus. It's also called clamshell. Walk over to the other side, fingertips far away from your hip. Open up the armpit. And 
and then come back. Now you're going to do a side plank here and it's going to be arm circles. So shoulder mobility is really important. The arm does circles, but the whole body other than the arm stays stable. So let your elbow be down, open up. Now this arm is going to be mobile. You got it, Karen. So uh, as big a circle as is pain free for you, the scapula can move, the torso stays stable, five the other way. Now everything uh, on the other side, your shoulder is your, uh, mo you're mobilizing it, the rest of your body is stable. And the other. Really good job. And then rest. Nice job. Take an inhale. Grab a sip if you want since we're upright, but we are going to be going down soon. And you're going to try to take 20 counts to go down. Listen to your body. If you need to get down quicker, you can. So one, lower a little bit. Two, lower a little bit. Three, four, five, six, scoop your abs. Seven, eight. Now, if you need to, put your feet a little further away. 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, belly in, 18, good Karen, 19, good Jean, full body stretch, shift through your arms, shift through your legs, 2, 3, 4, and then come up to your side elbow, but keep your hips and legs on the floor. Now we're just going to touch some abductors. This tends to be a weak muscle group and most of our activities are sagittal plane, running, walking, uh, hiking. So this leg, you go up and you're going to draw circles. Now stay lifted here so you're not sagging. Also we'd like to bone, build bone density. Now toes pull back, go the other way. Ten. You have a little tone in your abs and this hip is working. The shoulder blade's also stabilizing. Now this one, we're going to go down. This leg's ahead. Take the bottom leg and lift up into circles. Point your toes. This is also really good for balance. Go backwards. Now we're going to do everything on the other side. You're sort of propped up here, the ribs are up. Take your top leg. Good, Betty, on the first set, three. We're up, four. A modification would be to lie down on your arm, though. Keep your torso stable and then go the other way. Backwards, you can pull your toes back. Now, let that leg, or sorry, let that arm go down. Let that leg go in front. Take the bottom leg and draw circles. Pull the toes back. Nice job, really good job. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna move it in a little bit, but we're gonna lie on the back and take your right ankle to left thigh in a hip stretch. So I'm just moving it in so you can see a little better. Right ankle to left thigh. Take your right ankle to left thigh. Hip opener. This is one that if, uh, you may need a pillow on for your head. We're going to take that inhale 
and then go to the other side, ankle to thigh. Reach your hands through, clasp your thigh or your shin. You might like rocking. You might like moving your ankles and toes. And then take the left leg long and take the right knee over and your hips are most likely stacked. Your hand, left hand can help your thigh stay in place and your other arm can reach out like a T. Breathe and relax. another inhale and as you're ready go long with the right leg and take the left knee down twist hold your hand to your knee take your other arm out And then take another inhale and I'm going to show you one of two stretches or three that you could take. One is the bound angle which is like this. Your hands reach to your feet and it's like your little butterfly. The other is this and the third, my favorite, is that you're in Mandukasana which is a frog pose. Your knees go out and your toes go together. Let's see what everybody takes so I know. All right, looks like, oh, I like it, I like it. So if you don't feel it, walk your knees out wider. Good. If your knees have any sensitivity, like if you're on a wooden floor, for example, if yours don't like that, um, Kathy, you can always turn sideways on your mat and double the mat in. So I want your knees to feel good. Awesome. This is one of my favorites. Resting your head down also decompresses the spine. So just relax.
take an inhale and then as you're ready you're going to come back and then we're going to sit for a moment and take a rack posture so let your feet out long and go up with your inhale and let your fingers be behind you then your left arm is going to go up and behind you now soften the elbows you may find you want to walk the arms closer together or the arms further away from you and then lift up your torso interlace your fingers you shouldn't have been heavy on your arms but I just want to make sure the next one is cow face and you can sit any way you want to so I just want you to be comfortable so for example I'm most comfortable on my shins but some people's knees don't like that so sit however you want you might even stand I just want you to be able to take your arm and maybe you can sit on a block or two or do a high kneel good I like that trick Jean where you hold on to your elbow and get it up there now, you notice my ribs tended to flare forward like most people, so I want to pull them back. Everyone looks good. There you go, Karen, that little chin lift. Good. Now, just notice, are my hands touching? Do I have a good stretch on the front and the back? Inhale. Now, we're going to let that go if you need to. Move it, and then other side. Good trick, good. And if you use conditioner uh, at home, one of the girls told me um, that she would do the stretch when she has conditioner on her hair, so it's a slicker surface. So there's your trick of the day. So you can get your hand up there, that was Ellen. So hold that, 10, chin up a little bit, Catherine, nine, just a little, yep, eight, there you go, if it's okay, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Give a little release. Now, this one is this stretch, palms forward, but I want you to offer, if, if you want more and you want to try something else. Yeah, just do that with the, nice. Really good. You can do that when you're waiting at the grocery store next time or some kind of line and set of arms folded in front and then let that go. Now we're gonna take a Shavasana, so just rest for a moment. This is a chance to rest your, your mind and get rid of any thoughts of future or past. Shake out any tension that you might have let go of the world and be in your own world and just let your breath be your focus if anything and you can add an intention of wellness with your inhale Now whenever you're ready, wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And you're going to come up to a hand on the heart position, one and then the other, with your ear in line with your shoulder, shoulder in line with your middle rib, in line with your hips. Breathe in fully and let go of tension. And we're going to breathe in an intention of wellness to our physical body. Breathe in an intention of wellness to our mind and wellness to our breath and spirit. And so just for a moment, notice how good this feels to be in touch, intimate contact with that peace. If during the next month or two you feel like you're 
overwhelmed or getting chores um, overwhelming you from your sense of peace with all the holidays, for example, what you can do is just make sure your main goal is alignment with you, peace with you. You're better present anyway to other people when you're at peace. So you just want to release any feelings that that's a selfish thought and just know that your goal is to make peace with you. Your presence is your present. So notice how that feels and anytime you start to feel overwhelmed by a list of things to do or chores or feeling like it, it's your responsibility to make others conditions happy that you can come back into this place of peace and alignment with you. The heart gives itself blood first and then feeds the rest of the body. So whenever you're ready, come back into the room. Ta-da! Thank you guys so much. Thanks so much for coming. It's so good to see everybody. Thanks for your feedback on yesterday's class. I really love that. That was great. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.